we're going to show you something that will change how you think about building applications. Watch as we build and deploy a complete application with nothing but conversation with GitHub Copilot in agent mode. No coding experience required, just plain English prompts. We'll create a React front-end, AWS back-end with database, deploy to production, and serve real users. This is Vibe Coding, where you describe what you want and AI builds it for you. Ready to see the future of development? Let's get started. This is where the magic happens. We'll be installing Visual Studio Code, which will become your command center for building incredible applications. Head over to code.visualstudio.com and download the right version for your operating system. The download and installation process is straightforward and takes just a few minutes. After installing Visual Studio Code, we will select an empty directory for building our app and storing all the files. We have created a directory called Vibe Coding, and that will be our project root. This is where all our application files, code, and resources will live. Having a dedicated project directory keeps everything organized and makes it easy for our development tools to understand the project structure. Then we will add the secret sauce that makes Vibe Coding possible. We need two essential extensions, GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot Chat. These extensions transform VS Code into an AI-powered development environment. We've already installed these extensions, but let me show you how to find them. Click on the Extensions icon in the sidebar or press Ctrl plus Shift plus X. Search for GitHub Copilot and you'll see both extensions. GitHub Copilot provides AI-powered code suggestions as you type. GitHub Copilot Chat allows you to have conversations with AI about your code. The magic behind Vibe Coding is GitHub Copilot Chat. We will install both the extensions. When you install Copilot, it will ask you to connect to your GitHub account. Make sure you have a GitHub account created beforehand. If you don't have one, it's free to create at github.com. We've already linked our GitHub account, so we're ready to go. Now let's talk about pricing and plans. You can ask Copilot directly to show you the pricing information. Just type show me GitHub Copilot pricing plans. Copilot gave us the link. Let's click on that. GitHub Copilot offers three pricing tiers to fit your needs. The free tier gives you 50 agent mode requests per month, 2,000 completions, and access to models like Haiku and GPT 4.1. The pro plan at $10 per month unlocks unlimited agent mode and chats with GPT 5 mini, unlimited code completions, and access to advanced models like Claude Sonnet 4 and GPT 5. You also get 300 premium requests to use the latest models. The Pro Plus plan at $39 per month includes everything in Pro, plus access to all models, including Claude Opus 4.1, five times more premium requests, and additional features like GitHub Spark. For this course, the $10 Pro plan gives you everything needed to explore the full potential of vibe coding. With a Pro or Pro Plus plan, you should be able to see Claude Sonnet 4, which is one of the most powerful models available at the time of recording, and we recommend using that for complex development tasks. Please note, after linking Copilot to your GitHub account, you need to open the chat window and enable agent mode. For vibe coding, we will be enabling agent mode and using Claude Sonnet 4. Modern Copilot automatically uses agent capabilities, but just cross-check that it is showing up in your Copilot interface. This agent mode is what enables the conversational development experience we'll be using throughout the course. 
If your extensions are successfully installed and linked to your GitHub Copilot account, you'll see the GitHub Copilot icon in the bottom status bar of VS Code. This icon shows that Copilot is active and ready to assist you. From here, you can also see your usage statistics and manage your subscription plan. Now comes the exciting part. Let's build our first mobile-first web application using pure Vibe coding. We'll tell Copilot we want a React application, but here's the magic. We don't need to specify every detail. In fact, even if you just said, build me a stock dashboard app, Copilot would most likely choose React and install all the required software automatically. Copilot will figure out the best architecture, whether we need TypeScript, what components to create, and how to structure everything. Watch as the AI becomes our virtual development team. We will be adding API integration with databases later on. For now, we can ask it to show some dummy data. You can even give more complex prompts and achieve multiple things in a single prompt. We will go slow, step by step, as we are learning the full power of Copilot. Note that we have selected the Claude Sonnet 4 model here, which we will be using to build the app. Once our prompt is crafted and ready, we can either hit enter or click on the send icon to unleash the power of AI development. Copilot will acknowledge your request and create a detailed implementation plan to bring your vision to life. It will create comprehensive tasks, detailed documentation, and organize the entire development process like a seasoned professional developer, often with superior attention to detail. Copilot asks for allow permission because it respects your workspace and wants your explicit consent before creating files or making any changes to your project. Copilot will also ask for yes or no confirmation when executing any scripts or commands. Copilot opens the terminal on Mac or the command console on Windows where you can see exactly what it's executing in real time. You can either type Y for yes, N for no in the terminal, or simply click the allow button in the chat window. If it encounters any errors during the process, Copilot will intelligently analyze what went wrong and determine the best corrective measures to take. You don't need to worry about debugging or troubleshooting. Just allow it to figure out the optimal path forward. Copilot runs npm install to fetch all the dependencies our app needs. Copilot launches the development server on port 5173, opens it in the browser, and generates complete project documentation with README and development guides. And just like that, we have a complete, production-ready, mobile stock dashboard. Copilot has created a remarkable modern application. React with TypeScript, mobile responsive glass morphic design, professional components, and comprehensive stock features that work seamlessly across all devices. This demonstrates vibe coding perfectly. You described what you wanted, the AI built everything technically complex, and you focused purely on the product vision like a true product manager. Next, we'll add real-time data and deploy to AWS, 
But first, appreciate this achievement. You've built a professional mobile application through conversation alone. Next, we'll deploy our React application on AWS using Copilot's guided assistance. Let's ask Copilot to execute all the necessary deployment steps. It will walk you through creating an AWS account if you don't have one. It will try to install the AWS CLI locally, which is required to connect to AWS services. Since ours is already installed, we will skip that step. Copilot will begin creating deployment documents and configuration scripts automatically. You can click on any of the documents or scripts to navigate to them quickly. You can review the specific S3 bucket settings and configurations if you're curious about the technical details. Always remember to ask Copilot why it's implementing things a certain way, what the cost implications are, and if there are alternative approaches available. At this point, Copilot will request your AWS access key and secret key. These are the only credentials it needs to proceed with deployment. Once you have successfully authenticated AWS, Copilot will ask for your permission to deploy the code to AWS. This confirmation step ensures you maintain control over when and how your application gets deployed to the cloud. Notice an important terminal behavior when Copilot runs deployment commands. When you see a colon appearing at the bottom of your terminal output, this means there's more content to display. You have several options. Press Enter to scroll through the output line by line, press the letter Q to exit, or use Command C to force exit and return to your command prompt. This is called a pager view, commonly used by tools like AWS CLI to display long outputs without overwhelming your terminal. Don't worry if the terminal seems stuck, it's just waiting for your input to either continue viewing or exit back to normal operation. After deployment, Copilot configures one-time S3 bucket permissions to make your app publicly accessible. After successful deployment, Copilot will provide you with the S3 URL where your application is now live. Next, Let's see how we can build the backend database and API. We have a file in S3 received from the exchange that contains the latest stock data, and we'll build the backend layer to pull data from this file and display it on the front end with a simple command. This is the exact same data we display on our live Cortex Alpha website, so you're working with production grade information. Now let's see how we can display similar real-time financial data in our sample application using nothing but conversational prompts. The data file is already stored in an S3 bucket within our AWS infrastructure. We'll ask Copilot to analyze this file structure and automatically build our entire backend architecture around it. Watch as Copilot transforms raw financial data into a fully functional database and API system through simple conversation. We'll provide Copilot with the specific S3 file location and ask it to analyze the data structure and build Lambda functions to pull data from this source into our database. Copilot has now accessed the source file and is analyzing the data schema to understand the structure and format. Copilot is now creating the Lambda function and automatically configuring all necessary permissions for it to read from S3 and write to DynamoDB. It intelligently figures out every requirement needed to make the Lambda function work end-to-end, -end, IAM roles, policies, execution permissions, and resource access. 
Meanwhile, Copilot is now creating the second Lambda function that will pull data from DynamoDB and serve it to our front end through an API gateway. Notice something remarkable here. We simply asked Copilot to build an API, but it's thinking several steps ahead and considering security implications. This demonstrates the intelligence of modern AI development. Copilot isn't just executing commands, it's architecting solutions with best practices built in. Copilot has finished building our API successfully. We created DynamoDB tables, Lambda functions, API gateway endpoints, configured security settings, and deployed everything to production. All of this happened without ever logging into the AWS console, writing configuration files, or dealing with complex cloud architecture manually. This is the revolutionary power of Vibe coding, enterprise-grade cloud infrastructure through conversational prompts. What traditionally required specialized DevOps knowledge and hours of manual configuration just happened through natural language interaction. Now that we have our backend APIs ready, it's time to integrate them with our React frontend application. We'll ask Copilot to replace our static data with dynamic API calls to fetch live stock information. You'll see how Copilot handles the API integration, manages loading states, and displays the real financial data in our existing UI components. When working on UI integration, it's important to give Copilot clear, specific prompts about what you want to achieve in the user interface. UI prompts are different from backend prompts because they focus on user experience, visual elements, and front-end behavior rather than data storage and server logic. For backend work, we describe data flow, database structures, and API endpoints, technical infrastructure that users never see. A good UI prompt might say, replace the static stock data with API calls, show loading spinners while fetching, and display error messages if the API fails. Perfect, our stock dashboard is now showing real data. We've seen how to build a full stack application through simple prompts using GitHub Copilot. Check out our top rated Udemy course linked in the description on Vibe Coding to take your knowledge to the next level. The future belongs to builders who embrace AI. You're now equipped to lead that transformation. Thank you for watching. Now go build something amazing.